G'day fellas, welcome back to Wolf and Spice 3D. We're going to get the contents of that crate and I'm going to do that by hacking this computer because it's easier than using multi-tools and it saves us time. Hack it for me faster. Thank you. Uh, we'll open the containment field. You can also release the greasel control. But uh, the um, greasels are the big green mutant chickens in there. But we don't want to do that. And there's a cage release button that does the same thing if you don't have hacking skills. Hey, find somewhere else to hide. And that camera is annoying me. Snake down behind it here and hack it. Because it's a retard. And can't see it even when we're just in front of it if we're too close to it. So yeah, let's heal up. Now let's look at our augmentations. Oh that's right, we didn't pick them up. Apparently because we're retards. So we'll throw our baton out, pick up the augmentation canister. And okay. This gives us a choice of either the aggressive defense system, this is just something that blows up missiles and grenades before they hit you. I don't use that much at all. This is a spy drone. I don't use a spy drone much at all either. Um, it's pretty much useless because I'll never put any points into it. Um, and it uses 150 units a minute of energy. This uses 10 units a minute of energy which means I might actually use this sometime if I'm in a pinch so we're going to go with this one although we're probably not going to use either of them so now we're going to very carefully sneak around Done a white coat. No goodies in there. Yeah, careful, careful, careful. Another white coat. I don't want to see the Is he armed? Conversation. We aren't taking any chances. I hope nobody gets hurt. We've got him penned in. He won't get far. What about this area? Is it safe? Long as I'm with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this one. Very carefully sneak past here. Don't worry, it's safe. He's with you. Oops. Oh, sod this, they're all in one area. Have a gas grenade. I forgot to pick up my baton, didn't I? Oh. I suck. Oh, we better go and get our baton back. Can't believe I forgot to pick that up again. Had them all nicely penned up there. Could just go on straight in and taken them all out. No. We've got the med bot here. That's always handy. And while we're here, I might just hack into this again. See if there's any interesting emails to read while I wait for them to calm down a bit. Email.
I must request yet again that you forward the results of the study. game I think has been given a really bad rap because it's not actually that dumb. Sometimes it is. Right, but I mean take Aliens vs Predator 3. Now that was a game with dumb AI and that's like 15 years after this one. We don't want any trouble with the troops. You were the one who called the alarm. <laughs> Until this process, all security computers are using a temporary system logging MJ12 password in later. Nice. So now we have a password. Where'd he go? I thought I'd gotten all you guys. Now, these little characters in here are called Karkians. You can actually release the Karkians to take care of the guards. Why any sane person would do so, I don't know. It's sort of like releasing a 900 pound gorilla to take care of a kitten right, Karkians are really, really dangerous my goodness, Mr. Denton, did you escape? yeah, how do you know who I am? I'm a prisoner too, and I say your name every day I have cells from your body and culture your brothers, too. My brother? Is he nearby? They have him in the medical area. Agent Denton, believe me, I share your fury at this kill switch functionality. Do you know Paul? Only from his disuse. The guards want me to figure out why your bodies tolerate the nanites. A damn hard question, I'm sorry to say. Do me a favor, play dumb. They know enough already. I try. Oh, how I try. Maybe you can slip out when I open the main doors. I've already been shot once, thank you. But good luck. The only code I can give you is 0199. That's to the medical area. Maybe you'd like to see your brother. I would. Thank you very much. You won't get far. They've locked the doors. So yeah, basically he just gave us the code to the medical area, but the guards have already opened that. Um, series P agents. They're those men in black that we've been seeing. Um, I think I don't Yeah. Now we're still continuing in our attempts to isolate the sorts of the albino present here. So that's the men in black we've been seeing. They're sort of early. He's perfectly okay. Look us. for yourself. Surgical pre-evaluation. Subject shows a number of departures from nominal baseline physiology, including a noted absence of all H-type epsilon immunoglobulin proteins that seem to be related to his ability to tolerate nano-augmentations. Interestingly enough, is the subject also tests positive for the grey death, but yet shows no apparent symptoms or adverse effects. So it seems that it really was a... Oh my god, he escaped? Ah, I escaped. So it seems that we are actually the same people who made our nanites and the people who made the Grey Death. Lovely, huh? Paul, are you alright? What are they doing to you? I'm like the Russian researcher who contracted his own virus. They want to study the way I die. I hate to interfere with science, but we don't have much time to get you to trace her tongue. You go first. I'll slip out on my own. You sure? Just take care of yourself and do me a favor. Check in with Alex when you reach UNACO level 3. Some of those guys are on our side. Alright, but you better make it. By the way, be on the lookout for Anna. She came by the cell block. Anna, 
There's something you should know about mechs. They have kill switches, too. Only theirs are instantaneous. Interesting. I guess mechs have us beat on one count. A kill phrase, they call it. The NSF learned that Anna's is stored in two pieces on two separate UNACO computers with the login Demiurge and password Archon. But I never managed to find it. Thanks for the tip. I have some business to take care of in Manhattan. See you in Hong Kong. Interesting. They have all damage sent to Tracer Tong. Please leave the facility. At least one of you must survive. The code to the exit door is 1125. Right, so we've now been given the code to get out of here. Um, we don't need that. Project Dibbuk. That's basically, you can read that there, pause it and read it. That's about the helicopter that Jock uses. It's one of their secret projects, a stealth helicopter. So we've pretty much cleaned this place out now. And I think it's time for us to make a gracious exit. Just take a quick sweep through here. Yeah, we're already full of that ammo. Right, seems the only thing left to do is to enter the code, turn off the lights and close the door. And what was Paul saying about UNACCO level 3? Because I mean, where the heck are we? We aren't in UNACCO, are we? Or are we? We'll see that in the next video. Until then, fellas. Have a good one. And just in case it crashes on me again on exiting, I will save first. And until then, fellas, see you when I see you.